Yes, uh, good afternoon all. Uh, thank you for joining our uh, today's uh, webinar and uh, mastering the Layer Stack Manager. Today we are going to discuss how we can able to uh, start the stack up and how we can uh, able to create your stack up templates and how we can uh, create the inference profile and how we can create uh, PI types uh, inside the Alchem designer we are going to discuss now. And uh, th this uh, session is under recording. If anyone having any questions during the session, please uh, uh, type your uh, questions in the chat. We will discuss at the end of the session. Now, uh, let us get started. Yes, the, the today agenda, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, material library, templates, uh, inference profiles, uh, adding uh, vias and drag fields. And we will then see all these in actions within Ultimazener and then come back for uh, question and answers. Let us first talk about the uh, material libraries. The material libraries use it to catalog and define materials to be used when building your layer stack. Having your materials on hand allows you to build accurate stack ups quickly as well as create precise inference calculations. You can define core, prepack, cover lay, solder mask and more. And by using only approved materials, you can also make sure you comply with your company standards. In Alta Envisioner, we have an option for material library where you can able to uh, pick your required uh, material like surface finish or core or a pre peg or a cover solder mask. And if you don't have the one which you are looking for uh, as per your company standards, as per your manufacturer suggestion, you can create your own custom material inside the Alta Envisioner, which will showcase during the demo. And uh, uh, coming to discussion of the templates, uh, templates are a big part of Altium designer, not just the layer stack manager. Altium pro produces, uh, Altium products try to reuse and uh, templatize as much as you can. Uh, Altium uh, really want to create quick process. So we can all say ourselves sometime using Altium 365, we can store and manage different templates through our workspace. So here you can uh, house your different stack ups for different types of designs. You can organize it however you would like by design type like RF, high density or anything else. Altium also has some predefined uh, presents uh, where you can use to uh, start uh, to build your own stack ups. That means uh, inside the Altium designer with the help of the Altium uh, 365, you can able to, uh, you know, uh, store your uh, stack ups uh, like RF high speed, uh, depend upon your design requirement and the stack ups will be accessible to all your colleagues who are connected to the your workspace. That means there is no need of sharing these files offline and there is no worry that whether this file is being uh, any uh, revision issues. Here we have a revision status. Here once it is draft mode, your colleagues should not use this file. Once it is in uh, production mode or prototype, depending upon the revision state, uh, we can able to set uh, as per your requirement internally as per your organization standards. Based on that, you have to pick, suppose if the stack up is meant for prototype, he has to use it. If the stack up is meant for production for stack up, then only you have to use the, that, that kind of, of stack up when it is going for the production okay like this you can have to you can able to handle our revision state internally within your organization when you manage your uh, templates uh layer stack of templates or draftsman templates or schematic templates by using altium 365 and this template management is possible through altium 365 pro subscription okay And uh, uh, next thing we are discussing about the uh, imprints profile uh, in Altium Visioner allows you to configure your layer stack uh, for controlled imprints routing. All you all you need to uh, do is input your target imprints and tolerance and let Altium Visioner do the rest. Using a, a 2D uh, symbiote field solver, Altium will calculate the appropriate width 
when creating an inference profile you can specify different parameters including copper roughness and trace gap since uh, we are in a unified design environment these these profiles can be ref, uh, referred and applied to the rules and we'll take a look uh, into the uh, detail about this impress profile calculation about the coplanar microstrip line uh, during uh, the demo this impress profile is a inbuilt in ltm uh, if we have uh, set your proper stack up and your, uh, then by using this uh, symbiar field solver the tool will uh, calculate the based on the imprints value you uh, specify it will give the i you know what is the trace width required and uh, what is the amount of capacitance and what are you can able to see in the uh, second screenshot this is the information it will give if you uh, uh, calculate the imprints with the help of the stack up uh, inside that team and with a single click that can be applied as a design role because as we are in a unified design environment and next thing we talk about the uh, we are support uh, you all know the vias uh, this uh, ultim supports you know blind buried uh, apart from this blind buried uh, ultim in the recent developments from 20 it has supporting uh, a variety of vias like microwave and skip via where it will be useful when you are uh, doing a high density internet designs that means when your thickness of trace is uh, six mil and less then you can start using the micro vias those kind of uh, vias uh, also you now ltm supports uh, the application of this micro vias and skip vias is high density integrated designs where your trace width is uh, you know uh, six and less than six okay and apart from this uh, ltm also support the back drill uh, vias um, so a lot of what we are working uh, in this is a high speeds and because of that we need to think about the things in terms of transmission line and therefore signal integrity one of the easiest things uh, we can uh, improve uh, signal quality is by back drilling or wires what it does is the it is get rid of the unused parts of the via uh, we want to do is because if you don't get rid of the via step it can reflect our waveform back compromising our signal so like uh, uh, we have mentioned earlier the solution is to remove the extra stub and this is a easy solution to improve your signal integrity suppose if you are using a through hole via to connect a trace from uh, you know the multi-layer board from one layer to the middle layer and what will happen from middle layer to the outer edge that means other edge of the board the via will be hollow space due to the uh, high frequencies and due to the uh, uh, noise generated from the other traces which are close by the signal may transmit to this hollow space and then it may disturb the your original signal to overcome this if this unusual we have it call as a stub uh, yes uh, thank you Mangesh for uh, uh, notifying me uh, yes, still my audio is not clear Mangesh I hope my audio is clear now. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. You may be due to internet uh, connectivity. It might be a problem, I believe. Yes, uh, uh, sorry. This is the unused via what will happen, you know, it's called a stub. And it will be uh, the noise from the outside environment or noise from the other signal which are close by this via that may travel through this hollow space and to disturb the, the signal. To overcome this, uh, this unusual via color stub, if you can able to remove this via stub and you can able to fill with some material to block this uh, hole so that uh, your signal may not be disturbed. With the help of this back drill, we will be giving the hole size maybe some 5% to 10% more than this hole and then the fabricator will drill this uh, hole with a, a bigger dia and he will be filling with some dielectric material. Uh, this kind of via uh, is called as a back drill via. This kind of VS also now LTM uh, is supporting. Okay, now let us see uh, with a demonstration how uh, we can uh, set up your stack up and how we can able to you know um, uh, create a bad VS and how we can calculate the impedance profile and how we can create your custom materials. Now let us have a look uh, with the help of the LTM designer. Uh, I think uh, my audio is clear. If anyone having difficulty, please please. Uh, 
ping in the chart or type in the chart so that I will correct myself. Okay, now uh, this is the uh, uh, a design of eight layer to uh, where you can able to uh, you know define the stack up and you can able to customize uh, inside the Altium designer to access uh, and to customize the stack up. You have to go to the uh, design and say uh, layer stack manager. When you go to the design layer stack manager, uh, it will open like a new window. Uh, this feature is uh, has been available since Altium 19, uh, where it will open like a uh, normal editor like uh, PCB. And you can see it will display the uh, the view of your layers and I think you are very much know what is top overlay and what is top shoulder. I'm not going to explain and top layer single layer and plane layer means which is a full of copper where you can able to assign it for the uh, VCC at the ground plane. And uh, this is uh, all about the, the weight of your uh, copper and this is all about the thickness of your uh, uh, copper. And also we have got uh, uh, core material has been used uh, in between these two for the uh, as a dielectric constraint and in between these two we have used a pre peg and in LTM uh, you can able to pick your right material from the inbuilt material library. Suppose if you click on this uh, uh, browse symbol, it will open a material library of uh, you know pre peg from here you can able to pick your right material for the pre peg and you can see uh, the different values thickness constructions resin frequency and dielectric constraint and glass trans temperature you can able to see from here and the same way you can also uh, browse for the uh, materials uh, for the core as well from the drop down for the copper clad from here you can see we have got six uh, kinds of materials are available and if you uh, if you uh, are looking for a, a material which is not available you can able to you know uh, access or add a new material by going to the tools and say material library you can see we got different surface missing uh, technologies available e energy hasl and osp and if you want to add uh, a different uh, uh, material for osp or hasl you can able to click on new and you can able to add the same and if you look at the uh, dielectric material uh, core and uh, you can see we have got a lot of uh, uh, core materials available here uh, and we have a lot of uh, pre baked materials available here and if you are looking for a material which is not available just click on the type of material which, which uh, it belongs to and just click on new yes uh, before adding the material just check with your you know uh, fabricator whether the pattern material is available uh, with him readily to fabricate a pcb because if the particular material is not available with him then uh, all become a mess so that make sure if you are going to use any material in the PCB fabrication, which is uh, not a regular, uh, you know, material. This please, please check with your fabricator. Here I have uh, a data sheet of a material which belongs to a core family. It is from uh, Rogers is the uh, manufacturer for this material. Okay, and the name uh, is Rogers 400. I'm just entering it from uh the data sheet and uh, the thickness of this metal is 0 0.3 mm and uh, the construction is to i fund one two three four and then the resin uh, is uh, 43 percent resin in this one and then frequency uh, this suppose up to 10 giga h Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, 10 gigahertz, correct. And then dielectric constant uh, here, the value is 3.3, and that is 3.5, and the glance trans temperature is 280 degrees. Okay, and then click on update. You can see automatically the material what I require is being successfully added. You can see who is added the user okay now just click okay now suppose say if you want to update this material with the material what i have created just click on core and then if i go to the down it will be stored in the al alphabetical order uh, based on the manufacturer this, this is the material i need and just click okay what will happen automatically the material what i have taken is being updated and it is shown here okay like this you can able to uh, you know create uh, your own material and you can able to 
uh, change is seen. Now on to uh, know the properties, just select the, uh, the particular uh, uh, material or core or uh, prepeg or a copper clad, you can see the all the information of this particular information and this material also. You want to uh, no, browse, you want to change, you can also uh, select from here as well. Okay. And here also you can see if you want to see the about the information about this uh, copper clad, just go to properties, you can able to see the information as well. Okay. This is how you can able to, you know, uh, create your own materials and you can able to uh, set up your stack up inside the RTM designer. And also we have a uh, some predefined sets of presets of layers available. If you want to have now it is an eight layer. Suppose you want to have ten layers. Ten layers means six signal layer and four you know plain layers. If you click on this ten layer option automatically, the you know the layer setup automatically uh, will set to the ten layer and two uh, you know. Um, you know, six signal layers and four power planes, and it, it I got you now two dialectic materials. If you don't want, you can able to you know delete this automatically. It will, uh, and also based on this, uh, if you enable stack symmetry, suppose I will delete here a dialectic material on the same uh, top, the material will get deleted. This help you to make you the stack up stem symmetric. Okay, and you can able to select the words type of reference is a flat or a, uh, modified gross or uh, what was the type uh, the reference you require to select from the drop down and you can see uh, the information of your board what is the layers and what is the thickness and the dielectric uh, how many used you can able to connect the thickness dielectric thickness and total thickness is displayed here okay now i'm not going to you know uh, I, don't, I don't want to use the 10 layer. I don't want to disturb the stack up. This is how we can have to uh, pick the stack up and we can have to use it. And also, we have a uh, one more option available uh, inside the RTN designer to uh, comply with the libraries. That means, suppose these libraries we have already picked from the input library. When you go to the properties here, okay, and I just say enable library compliance, okay, for the stack up. And when I change uh, this value to one ounce, okay, then uh, just a second, just a second. Yes, now uh, I just uh, enable this op option uh, stack symmetry, okay, and library compliance. And if I uh, change this. Uh, uh, thing to four rounds. Then it should flag a error. I don't know why it's not flagging error. Here we'll get some some kind of error if you enable this option of stack symmetry. I don't know why it's not throwing an error. You should you should throw an error. Maybe I'm not sure why it's not throwing an error. Maybe 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 I'll I'll uh, let you know. I'm not sure. Like this, okay, if you uh, enable this option, uh, library compliance, if this particular material is not in comply uh, with the library, automatically uh, you will get some kind of uh, uh, error on the top of the, uh, here it will display some, you know, exclamatory mark uh, for the same. Okay, this is how uh, you can able to uh, build the stack up perfect inside the RTM with the help of the support of the input material library. And if you, uh, once your stack up is completed, next thing is we are, uh, you know, uh, able to uh, move to the next what is implants profile calculation because once your stack up is perfect, you can able to easily, you know, calculate the implants uh, profiles uh, based on your requirement. Okay, now let me uh, close it off and reopen so that we'll get some uh, the library compliance error it will display. I'm not sure why it's not showing. That is me mm, reopen the same. If I'm not getting the error, I'll just move on to the next uh, process. Let's try to change this one to one ounce. Why it's not throwing in error? I'm not sure. Okay, let us move on to the 
uh next uh, topic uh, is called impress uh, uh, profile creator we have a on uh, tab available at the bottom left corner you can say impress here it will display the all the stack up just click on the add impress profile automatically uh, tool will uh, uh, take the signal layer and the reference layer automatically and if you want to change anything if you click on the bottom reference you can able to see uh, from the drop down you can able to take it but it is recommend to have if you have a if you are going to route any high frequency signal on the uh, layer and it will take the its return path very much the its uh, next layer that's why we should make sure uh, the return path will be very close to your high frequency signal then uh, go to the properties uh, here you can able to add multiple profiles for the same uh, layer and the reference layer and we have a uh, of four types available one is for single differential pair single coplanar and the differential coplanar okay and if you want to say single and if you are uh, uh, targeting influence of 10 50 ohms and if you are targeting tolerance is uh, 10 percent and uh, by taking your all the stack up and if you want to take uh, the solar mask into consideration you can check this option to calculate the impedance with reference to solar mask as well and then uh, you can able to uh, if you know the etching factor of your fabric you can mention the value based on this uh, impedance value and by taking this stack up into consideration the tool will give the what is the recommended trace width and what is the uh, impedance you are achieving uh, with uh, this stack up for 50 ohms it will display and what the deviation and capacitance and uh, uh, you can able to uh, select the, the connected type based on this uh, the tool will calculate the values and the same way we can have uh, you know multiple uh, uh, profiles uh, now this time for the the same uh, stop layer with reference to ground lane i want to have it for a, a differential pair and my uh, target uh, impedance is suppose say 90 ohms if i say enter you can see automatically that pool is calculated in the what is the recommended trace with uh, uh, will uh, get uh, for 90 ohms for the differential pair signal with reference to top layer and the immediate reference layer ground and if you want to change the value to uh, 0 0.15 and yes uh, you can see what is the uh, target uh, uh, gap and weight and what is the uh, impedance you are achieving suppose if you uh, have this uh, value uh, sorry if you want to having this much one but you are taking the 0 0.15 you are able to get only uh, 88.4 then we just try to take 1.144 and still uh, you are not able to achieve the data properly then we just uh, try to take uh, uh, more value and let's see with how much you are achieving you can see uh, with this 0 0.144 Okay, see with this 0 0.14463, you are able to achieve the trace with uh, target impulse of 90 ohms. Okay, and this is the capacitance you are achieving, and this is the gap we need to maintain to achieve the 90, 90 ohms impulse for the differential pair routing uh, inside the RTL design. Okay, once your uh, uh, stack up is completed, then we can save the stack up, and then we can directly apply as a design rule. Okay. For this just simply go to the the pcb and then go to you know design rules and then we are looking for the uh, differential pair i also having a differential pair for the usb and uh, differential pair class i have selected and it's my usb and if i uh, select this one automatically the rules will get applied as per the stack up if you have multiple profiles from the drop down you can choose the appropriate profile and by, by in this option for this net class the trace uh, cap and width will get applied that means there is no need of you know maintaining your uh, stack up uh, details in the uh, as excel sheet and your uh, rules in the excel sheet just simply set up your stack up properly with appropriate material and then you can calculate the impress values based on stack up and with a single click you can able to apply it in your design rules okay now Next, uh, uh, this is how you can able to calculate the impedance uh, values in, inside the RTM uh, designer layer stack up manager with the help of the Symbiar uh, uh, sub software support. And then with a single click, you can apply it as a design rules inside the RTM designer. 
okay this is all about the how easily you can create the impress profile inside the artin designer next thing next thing we talk about the vi types uh, as you all know uh, artim supports you know through hole vias blind buried and uh, battery vias we discussed and uh, now we are uh, supporting from artim 20 we are supporting micro vias this application of this vias will be high density interconnect designs okay where we have a trace with uh, a six mil or less people used to use these vi types where the uh, the drilling will happen through laser and also we support back drill vias as well and also skip vias this is the uh, where you can able to choose the micro vi and also we support back drill vias as i during the presentation i explained the unused vi type is called a stub uh, it will uh, be filled with some dietary material and they will be drilling uh, with uh, uh, more uh, dia compared to the via uh, this kind of uh, feature also rtm is supported okay this is how we can able to uh, define the back drill from here we can able to start this option called back drill and then under back drill just add a via type and uh, which Portion you want to get filled and which which from uh, which layer which layer you want a connection. The filling layer you have to mention here. Uh, based on that, it will automatically give the copper connectivity to the other remaining layers. Okay, this is how you can able to uh, define the uh, pack drills uh, inside the RTM designer. Okay, now let us see how we can use these VR types uh, inside the RTM designer for uh, shooting the signals from one layer to other layer. Let us take a close look inside the RTM. See, I have the uh, Android net here, uh, and I think by, by seeing this N and P, the people can easily understand the other differential pair signals. And uh, I think you all know uh, how we can shift to signal layer mode when uh, this under layer tab when top layer is active. When I press shift yes, it will it will shift to the uh, single layer mode. This rat nest will help you to identify where it has been connected. Okay. Before uh, doing this, if you want to use the back bias or micro bias, we have to specify uh, some design rules inside the uh, PC editor. But that go to design rules. And uh, uh, we have to use uh, uh, writer rule for the back via under high speed. This uh, maximum via stub just add a new rule and then you just enter the name. I have created net class for this uh, group of nets. And just uh, write this rule is in that class uh, USB one and is via. You can able to mention what is the amount of uh, um, uh, dia more than this via to be used to drill this uh, uh, hole. You have to mention what is the allowed my maximum stub length. Also, you can able to mention from here. Once uh, the rule has been mentioned, okay, we are now ready to uh, do the uh, this routing by using the via types now. Let me uh, make it as a, uh, you know, stick this stick to the right side so that you can able to see the how the via uh, switching is happening inside the RT. Now, this to the differential pair on top layer. I just pick the uh, differential pair routing from here. I can see the beautiful thing in RTM latest version is you can see the pad exit uh, will be. Uh, both uh, remain same and just uh, is in the top layer and here i want to uh, you know uh, switch to the next layer why because here the top layer and signal has to go to the top uh, you know right left corner of the pcb then i want to shift the signal how can i shift the signal i need to place a via to place a via just hold control plus scroll the mouse forward you can see on the right side how uh, the via has been taken now it is through hole via now this is no via just you can see uh, we are taking a uh, two micro vias uh, to uh, switch the signal from top layer to ground layer we have a second layer is ground and from ground layer to uh, layer three that means we are taking two uh, micro vias has been placed and then press left click automatically the via will place in the uh, the particular layer and you just start uh, looking the Trace. You can see it, it will follow the, the mouse uh, uh, pointer and it will uh, help you to uh, maintain the equal distance uh, inside the Altin designer. Okay. 
now uh, here uh, this two uh, there is a component on the top layer again we want to uh, shift this signal to the top layer then we just uh, hold shift uh, control shift and scroll the mouse backward to place a via and then left click and you can see automatically these two uh, will get connected and again from here we'll just able to do it here and from again we'll just start using uh, it in the top layer or if you want to uh, switch the second next layer just pressing press l it will able to shift the signal and left click to connect it okay this way uh, we've been connected you can see the signal how it's been connected you can able to totally see suppose if you want to fine tune this one uh, that trace what i did just go to serve this root and say close selected so that it will give some fine tuning to the trace what you are rooted and by following that design rules into consideration okay if you uh, want to look uh, about this via construction in 3d just uh, press 3 for 3d you can able to see there are two vias okay and if you look at the uh, bottom side you can see the via type via types are not visible why because we have used the uh, uh, micro vias okay now uh, we just see in uh, uh, by removing this uh, masks by use by visualizing it in the uh, by layer you can just visualize just uh, make this transparency okay you can see this is the uh, via where we are used uh, in between uh, top layer to the layer 3 and you can see there is no via here but whereas this is the through hole you can able to see visualize say through hole you can see from top to bottom we have a via but whereas with the help of this micro via we could able to uh, you know shift the signal from top layer to mid layer 3 and uh, we can able to utilize the other uh, side of the these traces to route the other signals or if you want to have a uh, uh, copper to be poured you can be easily pour toward the signal to maintain the return path okay this is how we can able to you know uh, create a microwaves and can be used and you can see we can visualize the same uh, inside the rtm designer okay this is all about the uh, mastering the uh, layer stack up uh, inside the rtm designer now uh, we are open up for the questions if anyone having any questions please uh, type your questions in the chat uh, 